explained why they're both so special to Mama. It's spotted here in the lower right corner of Belcher Message. Playing for evil geniuses, it is the Blue Zerg Suppy. And in the top left is opponent playing in, as the pink turn. It's going to be for Team Starcraft's Ascension Skipper. Now, Skipper is a really good player. A lot of people, again, StarCraft Ascension, they don't get the notoriety that they want. But I think the thing he's most famous for in recent days... Well, hold on, I'll explain this for a second. I'm just going to talk about how sexy it is. He is putting the SVs on the close mineral patches. Oh, Skipper, I love you. But anyways, I'm not sure if you saw this. Recently, Select had a video posted where he tried to go for that nuke rush. And it was unfortunately Skipper on the other end of that nuke rush. The Select ended up devastating, so it's kind of what he's known for most right now, being nuked by Select. But I gotta say, Skipper's got some really good playstyles in him. I haven't got to cast him a lot, but I'm really excited to see how he's going to do against Suppy, because Suppy has been this dominating force. He went to Dreamhack, he's played in major tournaments, I'm pretty sure he's going to Anaheim. I mean, there's so much about this guy, plus the fact that he's on Evil Geniuses. So it's, it's definitely yeah. like, Skipper's gonna be the underdog in this, but not by much. Yeah, I mean, Evil Genius picked up Suppy a while ago from... Oh, how do I not remember this? Well, he's, like, he's been, like, CSL champion, like, so many times in a row at this point, yeah. too. I mean, it's not just yeah. a, it's not just EG that gives him his notoriety. He's definitely Yeah, of it. course. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and he's pretty young as well. I think he's one of the, yeah, the better American players, for sure. Absolutely he is. I mean, it, there's... My problem is a lot of the North American players, they hide until the big tournaments. Like, they don't normally compete in these cups. Like, you wouldn't normally see Suppy playing in a Zotac. But it's really cool and a special treat that we get to see him here today. Yeah, for sure. And, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what Skipper can do about this dominating force that is Suppy. Oh, well, he's gonna. Oh, I don't have protection tab up. I'm terrible, guys. Sorry. We do have Reaper coming out first out of Skipper. So, this will be quite nice. Suffy already going for that gas, though. He's not gonna be too delayed by this. Maybe he'll be forced to make four extra links and sacrifice them to the Reaper gods. But, you know, once you get speed on the field, Reapers are not an issue. Unless, unless Skipper was doing like some sort of two racks, three racks, five racks, Reaper all in. Which would just not make sense on a first game in a best of one. Important to note though that he lifted the barracks before making the second reaper, already putting the barracks in position for that reactor. I'm a little curious on the time, we'll have to see if that comes into big effect or not, but here we go, Ling's popping uh, out immediately. And you always want to trade Ling's for death basically instead of the drones. It sucks having to build cancel, you know, build the extractor cancel, build the spore crawler cancel, when instead you would much rather just build a bunch of Ling's and sacrifice them instead. Yeah, it's perhaps not the, the trait you always want to make, but it's better than a drone. Suppy doing a great job of holding on. I mean, he's losing a couple resources here and there from the build cancel, but it's not much. And more importantly, he keeps the drone alive, because the drone, I think a lot of people forget, it doesn't just represent 50 minerals and a worker, it's also the larva. Mm -hmm. Okay, Skipper coming in for round two with a second Reaper this time. Speed has just started, so he's still got the small window of opportunity where he can start doing some damage. Ooh, jumping up. Oh, 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 just actually barely dodging those Zerglings. This one Reaper is very close to death. Yeah, that was really close, and the Hellions should be on the way shortly. And also, like from Skipper, third CC, loving it. Very normal play, but still also effective. Because what the Reapers also do, together with the Hellions, is keep the Zerg a bit longer on two bases than they want to. Um, yeah, I mean, well, Suffy wouldn't have exactly taken a fast third in this matchup, but he's been forced yeah. to really just focus on the Reapers and not just kind of like, la di da, I'm making 500 drones because I'm Zerg. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you know the threat is out there, and perhaps you would like to sneak in perhaps a, a little bit earlier third as soon as you hold a certain pressure, but he knows these, he these Hellions are incoming, so perhaps he's going to respond to it, but I hold on, I just said it, and Suffy's just going to go for. A third base? <laughs> Going for third base, he's got quite a few links on the field, but of course there's Hellions. You know, yeah. it's this weird counter, like, okay, Reapers counter slow links, fast links counter Reapers, Hellions counter the fast links, it's <laughs> this vicious circle. And then you have the Marauder, well, then you have the Roach, then the Marauder, <laughs> yeah. and so on. 
Well, I think the Banelings kind of equalize everything, though, because as long as you have enough of them, Banelings counter anything. Even Widow Mines? If you have enough of them, yeah, they the, when you kill the <laughs> Banelings, they explode and splash damage, they kill the Window Mines underneath them. That's true. But okay, we see Skipper gonna push. This is something that's more classical as well. I would have liked to have seen a total of four Reapers with this to make it more powerful, but he is gonna push without too much resistance with six Hellions and two Reapers. Now the big thing is, of course, you have the Reapers on the front lines. You want them to soak the damage from the Queens for those Hellions. Yeah, Comment we'll see what he can do. The, the Queens moving off creep already in position to intercept, but... The Hellions swinging around towards that third base, and will he wait for a drone transfer? I doubt it. No, it, 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 the drone transfer won't come for so long at this point. But okay, he's oh. going to catch two of these Queens, but unfortunately the Hellions are on the front line, so like I said, he's got to have them behind the Reapers. And these legs, they want to engage, but of course you can't just run into Hellions, it does not work like that. So Suppy, intelligently, going to hold his links back. You know, it's kind of like one of those things, like your buddy wants to fight, you got to hold him back, like, no, no, let me at him, let me at him. It's kind of like what the Zerg player has to do with their Zerglings. Nope, and camera freaking out there a little bit. Yeah, and just why, while both players like take a short break in all this aggression, have a look at the vision of Suppy. Such amazing Overlord spread. Yeah, he can see everything on the map. He doesn't have the Watchtowers right now, but he will reclaim those shortly. He's got to deal with this Reaper harass, though. Queens once yeah, again. Oh. Out of oh, the drone transfer! If Skipper goes in right now, he's going to get so many kills. That would have been an opportunity, and there the links. Sadly, it was out of vision, though, so I mean, there's no way for him to have known that that was there. But I'll yeah. tell you, if he watches the replay, it's one of those moments where you go, gosh darn it, I really <laughs> wish I had I done that. <laughs> if yeah. only I committed. <laughs> but it's better to save the Hellions and deny as much creep tumors as possible. Well, still posturing around the map. I'm a little bit curious what Skipper's plan is. He's still he's only just taken that third, but he's taking it in a really odd position. Not a bad position, mind you. A lot of players like to go north to expand. This does put you closer to the Zerg, but it's also a little bit easier to defend from a Terran standpoint. Yeah, but, definitely if you have fast oh, units to force, no. he gets around on a couple. Yeah, Helen's go um, down, but there's so many widow mines here. Suppy cannot really afford to push against that many widow mines. We get the Overlord dropping creep just in case he lifts, and he is going to have to lift if he doesn't get in there right now. Yeah, and he is on the way, and he will deflect this for now. But I think there's just more stuff going to be incoming for Suppy soon. We have Bailey Speed on the way to get it with Burrow, so perhaps we will see some mines. You know, typically, a yeah. Terran player, they're going to have that one Viking on the field. I really wish Skipper had made that one Viking at this point, because... You said earlier, look at the Overlord vision from Subby. This is absurd. Yeah. This is not yeah, something he, he can allow to leave on the map for this long. Yeah, he won't he won't be able to send out the dropship unscouted and with the mutalisks on the way soon it's gonna be a big problem because there's no way he can put pressure back on Subby and I do see it being a huge issue for him in the mid game transition to the late game even. Well, I want to point out two cool things we already saw. You guys might have missed this. When Suppy threw three Zerglings at where he knew nine Widow Mines were, we also had Skipper uproot the Widow Mines so they would not fire. So both players with some really immaculate control over their units. We'll have to see how that comes into effect here. Because Suppy needs the best control to dodge these Widow Mines, but alternatively, Skipper's got to make sure he doesn't friendly fire his whole army to death. So it's got to split them too. There's a lot of Baileys here. They don't have speed, but there's a lot of them. Yeah, and the Widow Mines are zoning this out nicely. Can he just go for it? Like, oh, kill some nice base? hits do go off. Families are going to collide early on. A couple of the Widow Mines have been taken out. There's a lot more rolling in, and they've got the speed now. Oh, nice pick up there. All the Widow Mines are cleared, and... So are the Mutalists. There's nothing to chase these Metavax. Oh my god, he's actually going to just be able to get out with everything if he wants. Instead of going to come back in for a bit of a drop. Got to pick up immediately, though. Yeah, Sacrifice is a bailing for a Hellion, I think it's fair. But Creep getting dropped on the normal third base, and... Yeah, Mute is having to be reproduced, but 2-2 is about to finish for our third player. While 2-2 yeah, is not... Yeah, it's just halfway done for Terran. Yeah, it's all on the way, but not quite there yet. Now the big thing yeah. here too, guys, if you didn't watch my science video on YouTube, you should absolutely watch my science video on YouTube. One of the big things is it takes 43 seconds for this creep to recede fully to be able to build or land a command center. So I mean, this is so much time lost from Skipper already. 
Yeah, and Suppy sitting on sitting pretty on four bases, now getting the infestation pit, and that kind of indicates he definitely wants to go up to Hive. Sometimes, uh, even so. if he doesn't go for Hive, I mean, all you need to do is one good fungal to lock those Marines in for a bailing to connect. It's kind of that Star Wars moment where you shoot like the torpedo into the Death Star. Oh, but both maneuvering around the army and going for the counter, and there's a lot of SUVs on this base. Well, Holt's not SUVs here, but. Down. But Skipper's doing a good job too. Oh god. <laughs> oh my god, oh, the failing nice. hits! He lost, despite the good split, he lost so many SCVs there. 24 yeah, kills at this point. Yeah, he lost like half of the SCVs that were on that base. That was a pretty big loss. I really thought it was going to be a lot more though. <laughs> well, you know, the big thing though is Suffy, he's investing a lot to do that small amount of damage. I mean, typically, that trade would have been great if it was four Bane Links, not like nine. More yeah, Zerglings on the way, but here come those Meatless, and there's no turrets here. A single bunker, an unburrowed Widowmine. Yeah, and Suppy being such a bully, dropping creep again at the, at the fourth. But here comes the engagement. A tense yeah. moment, and... Yes, it really is, the Meatless... Oh, the Meatless run over top of the Marines. Oh no. Oh no, he's getting surrounded. But the Banelings do not get the connects they want. Everything's able to pick up and get out of there. Skipper is yeah, really minimizing his losses here. Very nicely, yeah. I might add. I think he can press on his advantage here, though. Perhaps press the fort base a little bit? Yeah, I mean, it's still not landed at this point. His own marine is blocking it. Now it's circling the fence underneath! Yeah, don't, for, don't forget that Suppy has Burrow. Yeah, a little bit irritated, but okay, the Bailey's trying so desperately to connect and they just quite can't. And he's getting some decent hits, not the best. This one bailing gets a huge the hit. The Mutalists, though, are not going to be enough to deal with these Marines. Suppy needs to pull these back. I would have loved to see him, Suppy just barrel one link under the CC. Just because. Well, I think he tried to, but he scanned already. Like, he scanned ah. first thing. But Skipper now coming down with a hit squad. No Medivex company. And these elite squadron up Marines going to pick off a ton of drones with some nice stutter step. Yeah, very nice. Muta will leave to fight another day, but the base will fall. You know, another base being taken by Seppi on the right hand side of the map. Yeah, the Mutalists are responding to the drop that's coming, but there's nothing in them. <laughs> it's just empty medivacs. Meanwhile, Skipper actually takes out the Evolution Chamber and is still pushing with this naked Marine force. If he can get that bailing nest, that would be huge. But the yeah, Ultralis. The rest. Well, the scary thing is the Ultralis Cavern is now on the way, and these Marines have no medivac support. They're going to be so low. He's not going to be able to get into the base. And, I mean, the bailing nest sucks. Losing the bailing nest, not something you want to do. But there's an ultralist tech swap coming. Who cares about Marines? He needs to start throwing the Marines away so he can start making the Marauders. But some yeah. sick Widowmine hits going off here. Meals are going to get slowly taken out. We've got Skipper doing way too much damage with just Marines, I gotta say. But now the kind yeah, of playing started. Yeah, good. There's and no... Skipper now. But do you feel Skipper is being perhaps a bit too... No, I don't. These are just Marines, man. You can throw That's Marines all the way all day. But there's... Oh, his third base never got those turrets up. He's oh, going to lose... Look at all those overlords. Oh my god, he's going to get so badly... Look at Suppy! He's so supply blocked! He can't actually make any more Ultralists! Only two are going to pop! And two are and not going to be enough to deal with this. And is Skipper going to do it? Skipper might just win this game with naked marines. It all started with that huge hit squad to the third. Suppy now desperately trying to evacuate the drones. He can't mine at the fourth. There's wind mines here burrowed and waiting. Suppy is in, honestly, very close to GGing out. Yeah, Suppy now with the Midas trying to find like a gap where he can do damage again. But yeah, Ultra Cavern falls. Fire's oh, gonna fall. Everything's ultras. just gonna die. It's Super 180 happy. supply to 80. The Ultras have the Kitness plating. But they're dying so fast, this is ridiculous. Oh, I think Gaiden is fading just got cancelled on the Ultra's Cavern. Oh Maybe yeah, you're right. Called. It just barely didn't. Wow! I told you Skipper was good, man. <laughs> yeah, but taking out a player just from EG just like that? Pretty impressive. And that's another upset. Upset after upset. First Bolt, now Suppy. What a, what is going on today? I don't know, but I'll take it. It makes for a very interesting